smart TVs, smart appliances, smart toasters, connecting via the internet, Bluetooth, what what, to your phone. Did you see this thing? It's a smart coffee mug. What's that about? Well, the thing tells you apparently what the temperature is. It must have a battery in it because it can hold a certain temperature. You can change it and then it's ready once you get to the home or work. But I'm seeing now that this thing can tell you if you've had too much caffeine. <laughs> no, out of the question. By God, this has gone too far. <laughs> fine. I feel fine. I'm telling you, I feel fine. Now, do you remember that story a couple of weeks ago about the people who had their wedding photographs and then behind them, totally unplanned, a warehouse caught fire. So they ran towards the warehouse and got these amazing, awesome photographs that were on fire themselves because there they were having their kissy kissies with a like, flaming background going on. <laughs> well, how about this couple, the Montiers from somewhere in America, yeah. decided to go and have their um, wedding on the island of Skye in Scotland because they'd seen amazing photographs. I don't know, maybe they saw that movie called Made in Honor or Made of Honor. You remember the one with the uh, Patrick Dempsey guy? Beautiful, yes. magnificent summer wedding in Scotland. The only trouble is what they didn't realize is that those amazing photographs from the Isle of Skye were taken on the one or two days a year when the weather's actually great up there. So their wedding happened on the same day that there was a howling, howling gale coming through. So look at their wedding photos. For starters, she's wearing gumboots because there's some hectic rain going on there and they're stumbling through the mud. And yeah, look, they can hardly hang on to each other. In that one, she's like, basically freezing <laughs> i think and in this final shot i mean wow look what it did to her hairdo Ish. unfortunate <laughs> right out in vladivostok which geography experts will know is on the far 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 east of russia <laughs> what is that? there is a beautiful bridge which was built i don't know three or four five years ago and it's a magnificent looking suspension bridge there you can see and basically what it is is unfortunately multiple lanes but no pedestrians allowed <laughs> no pedestrians. So what these geniuses did is they decided, no, they're not having any of that. They'd like to get across the bridge. So they disguised themselves as a bus. <laughs> That's it. You can see. Basically, they built themselves a nice little kind of yellow bus-like box, okay? And they, one of them, you know, took each four corners and doop 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 over the bridge. Unfortunately, they got busted. Yeah, and I'm not even joking. They got busted by the local police. And there you see them getting uh, pulled to the side, so to speak. Oh, oh come on. I'm with those guys. Yeah, shame. <laughs> right, so the matric exams are almost finished here in South Africa. Shout out to those matrics who are still writing a couple of exams to go. Something funny happened, though, with the matric exams in Australia this year. In the English paper, the kids were asked to review a review. In other words, to comment or do some kind of comprehension on a review of a restaurant in the state of Victoria. Somehow or other, the examiner picked the name of a restaurant, first of all, a coffee shop that is, that exists, and secondly, got the name of the manager correct. Sounds a bit fishy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But the problem was that the review was incredibly negative it complained about the coffee it complained about the waiters being hipsters with man buns it said that the coffee was shocking and the food was worse yeah. so after the exam all the kids ran out assuming that this was a real review and found the real coffee shop which then went viral <laughs> now this ought to have been a good idea the karma cafe that's the name of the place except that uh, the shockingly negative reviews were the ones that were going viral. And the poor restaurateur coffee shop owner has basically been dealing with all these shocking feedback and everybody assuming that the review was real. <laughs> so thanks a lot, examiner. Thanks a lot. You just wrecked this poor business down in the south of Melbourne. Oh.